and I'm a published author in many anthologies, and my book, Go Where They Are, and those are all on Amazon, and you can check out my author page on Amazon. And I'm so excited to be sharing this space with you during this full moon. We're going to be doing some inner healing work with Archangel Zadkiel and the Sacred Violet Flame. But first, let me give you a few announcements before we get to work. Here on International Angels Network, we're the network that loves to discuss angels. And we love to explore all things spiritual, metaphysical, and mystical. Our divine creator, energy healing, signs from spirit, dragons, fairies, light language, and just so much more. We are also dedicated to helping spiritual entrepreneurs And Claudia Ibarra, our founder and producer, has created a spiritual entrepreneur membership program where we help you create and expand your spiritual business. Plus, you get your own IAN webpage, a listing in the IAN directory. We advertise your business. And we offer ongoing support, coaching, mentoring for all spiritual entrepreneurs, not just angel practitioners. And this is worldwide. So if you're wanting to get your business up and going or wanting to uh, expand your business, you know, check out the Spiritual Entrepreneur Membership Program. Then also, if you're searching for a spiritual practitioner, be sure and check out our directory. You know, With today's technology, it makes it possible for you to work with anyone in the directory anywhere around the world. And we have people that are, uh, do readings, energy healing, teachers and mentors and coaches, and even online metaphysical stores, all for your mind, body, and spirit. And that's at www.internationalangelsnetwork.com forward slash directory. And we are a live call-in show. And the last half of the show, I'll be taking your calls at 1-516-453-9162 for angel guidance, mini readings, and questions on topic. So be sure and press 1 to get in the queue. And it's the same number for all our shows, so you might want to write it down, put it in your phone, or keep it handy. That's 1-516-453-9162. Now there are several ways to call in. So if you're listening on Blog Talk, you can Skype into the show for free from anywhere while we're live. You just press the Skype icon, and that's at www.blogtalkradio.com forward slash International Angels Network. Plus, we're live on YouTube. You can subscribe to our channel by pressing the bell icon, and you can get a reminder of all of our shows. And we have shows pretty much six days a week. And then plus, when we get to 100 YouTube subscribers, which... And we're growing every day on YouTube because we haven't been on YouTube but a few months. But we're going to be doing random drawings from some exciting prizes. And then also we do answer your questions and pull cards from both the blog talk and the YouTube chat room. And when we're live on air, you can connect with us on our Facebook fan page or our website. Just click the call button and it will connect you to the show. But whichever way you choose to call, be sure and press 1 with your questions. And you never have to miss any of our shows. You can catch us live, as I said, or in the archives on Blog Talk and YouTube. Or you can listen on iTunes. And we're also on several other platforms like Blueberry, Stitchers, Player FM, Google Play Music, Podbean, and many others. And you can listen to us on Amazon Alexa devices, your Apple TV, Roku TV, and other smart TV devices, plus your Apple Watch or your car audio system on TuneIn Radio and My Tuner Radio. Now, our live shows are brought to you by Audible by Amazon. And Audible offers over 420,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. So you can get a free audiobook download today and a 30-day free trial. And you can cancel it at any time, but you get to keep the free book. And that's at www.audibletrial.com forward slash international angels. 
which in turn helps support our online network, and we really appreciate that. We'd also like to thank Sunday Sturgeon, founder and CEO of Holistic Light Rejuvenation Center, and she is our network sponsor. And you can find out more about this nonprofit center on our website. And then tonight's show is sponsored by www.uniteinthelight.com. Created by the angels, Susie Parrott and myself. We were guided by the angels to teach together, and we're so excited to offer these many short classes on how to connect with angels and the spiritual world, you know, classes on your guardian angels. Uh, we introduce 16 archangels. We talk about spiritual protection, affirmations, just so much more. You know, these are like uh, connecting with the angels. So we invite you to visit our website and start your connection today at www.uniteinthelight.com. Now today we're experiencing a super full moon in Virgo. You know, the full moon is all about forgiveness, releasing negativity in your life, letting go of lower energies that come from past upsets, current upsets, or or any negative events you've been through, or negative patterns in your life that you keep repeating. It's about releasing toxic thoughts, habits, and people. And it's an opportunity to release the things we do not want in our lives. Anger, guilt, unforgiveness, jealousy. Because in truth, all of these are lower energies and work against us. And you can do this any time, but the full moon energy is a powerful time for inner work. And tonight, I am guided to help you with some inner healing with Archangel Zadkiel and St. Germain's Sacred Violet Flame. The color violet has long been associated with spirituality and having the highest vibration of all the colors. However, each color holds a specific divine quality. Now, the Sacred Violet Flame holds the divine energy of mercy, forgiveness, freedom, and transformation. Archangel Zadkiel is known as the angel of mercy, forgiveness, and transformation. Now he encourages us to turn to God for mercy and forgiveness. But Zadkiel and the angels under his supervision work within the violet ray and assist us in working with the violet flame. The violet light is silver in the middle and surrounded by purple, and it appears as a flame, hence the name, the sacred violet flame. Now, to help explain how the violet flame works, it's said that when you work with the violet flame, it works by changing your vibrations because the violet flame transmutes negative energy. It does not simply surround and remove the energy but transforms it into light. And it can help in all areas of your life. It can heal uh, emotional issues, physical problems, help you improve relationships, help you to grow spiritually, help you to just make your life easier. So hence that it changes the vibration from negative to positive, it raises. Your vibration is raising. And the violet flame is a tool of self-transformation. So simply put, the sacred violet flame can burn away all lower negative energies and fill you with positive, loving energy. Archangel Zadkiel and the angels under his direction serve mankind from the temple of purification to transmute negative energies into the highest possible vibration of energy, which is love. The violet flame frees up negativity and reestablishes harmony, which in turn raises your vibration. And tonight, we will begin by invoking Archangel Michael for protection and help 
with surrendering what no longer serves you, then you'll be guided by Archangel Hanael, the goddess of the moon, and she will take you to the temple of purification to meet Archangel Zadkiel to clear away negativity with St. Germain's sacred violet flame. I invite you to join me in a visualization to release and transform in the violet flame. You should never listen to meditations or visualizations while you are driving. So you can go back to about 12 minutes past the hour and listen to um, the visualization on the replay. So let's begin with a healing prayer of transformation invoking the energy of Archangel Zadkiel. You may wish to think or say the words. And this is a beautiful prayer by Catholic Jen Filippo out of the 365 days of angel prayers. Beloved Archangel Zadkiel, I call upon you to fill my heart with a violent light of transformation. As I breathe into my heart, may it be filled with this light. As I breathe out, may my aura be filled with the violet ray. I now place within my heart all issues that need transformation. I ask you to blaze the violet flame through these issues, turning my heart into an alchemist cauldron of light. By doing so, I now let go of all that no longer serves me, making room for positive change within my being and within my life. I now place within my heart all those people and circumstances that need my forgiveness. I forgive all those who have hurt me in the past, including myself. Help me let go of criticism and judgment as I open up to unconditional love and understanding. Dear Archangel Zadkiel, I am willing to be a vessel for positive transformation and change. And I am deeply grateful for your help in learning my life lessons with ease and grace. And so it is. Okay. Now, Claudia could give us a little music. Mm-hmm. I'm going to you to take a deep, relaxing breath. The archangels are multi dimensional, non denominational light beings of Creator. Let's get really comfortable. Archangels can be with each of us at the same time. Let's now invoke the presence of Archangel Michael to surround each of us now as we are sharing the same divine light of our Creator. We ask Michael to stand with us and protect us on this journey. See Feel, imagine, or know Michael's protection around you. Now ask yourself, what is no longer serving me? Look into your heart. Take a relaxing breath and begin focusing within. Quiet your mind and open your heart with non-judgment. No judgment, no blame. Simply releasing. 
It can be a person, a place, financial burdens, physical health and addictions, whatever it is for you. Take a moment and set your intention to release, to transform your life. Simply releasing so that you can move forward in peace, in harmony, and in love. Next, we'll take a few deep, relaxing breaths. Breathing in and out, releasing all stresses. Breathing in and out, letting go, feeling completely relaxed surrendering all the worries of your life. And now allow your breath to slow into your own natural breathing rhythm. Relaxed, secure in the arms of your angels, feeling very peaceful, very relaxed, following your breath. I'd like for you to imagine you are sitting on the river's edge under the full moon. The moon is big and bright and shining her love down on you. This river is home to a wonderful waterfall. The water is sparkling, glistening, pure white under the moonlight. Now bring your attention to your feet. Feel your energy flowing out of the bottom of your feet. Picture roots coming from the bottom of your feet. Big, thick, sturdy roots pushing down through the river bottom, down through the sand, down through the clay, down through the rock, and right down through the layers of the earth, down to the core, into the center of Mother Earth. You feel safe and secure connecting with her incredible energy, embraced in her golden love. Feel, see, experience this light at the heart center of Earth and know that you are one with it. You are part of it. You are one with Earth, one with the light, and one with all that is. Now picture the light from Mother Earth as it begins to flow upward. Just follow it up. Go up with it. Follow the light flowing up through your roots into the bottom of your feet your ankles, up to your calves, and your knees, your spinal column, your stomach, your heart, all the way up to the top of your head. Feel that beautiful light moving up your body, slowly, softly up your body, following that warm golden light as it wraps you and caresses you in a beautiful shimmering cocoon of love. 
Now bring your attention to your third eye in the center of your forehead. Breathe in love through your third eye and breathe it out through your heart center. Breathe in love through your third eye and out through your heart center. Now breathe in peace through your third eye and breathe out peace from your solar plexus located just above your navel. Breathe in peace through the third eye and breathing out peace through your solar plexus. Now breathe in tranquility through your third eye and breathe it out through your solar plexus. Breathe in tranquility through the third eye and breathe it out through your solar plexus. As you are breathing out, you are feeling your aura with love, with peace, with tranquility. As you are becoming more relaxed and you feel the soft, gentle energy of love caressing you. Your angels are surrounding you. As you relax, so does your body. Breathing deeply, yet comfortably. Now in your third eye, picture, see, feel, or imagine that beautiful full moon again. This soft, iridescent, pale, white light is shimmering from the moon. This light is calming and gentle. Let it embrace you as the light comes closer and closer. You are now being joined by the energy of Archangel Hanael. Hanael is the goddess of the moon. She wishes to help you on your journey. Hanael will be your guide tonight. And she's come here for the purpose of helping you release and let go. To release all negativity as she guides you to the temple of purification. Invite her to help you. You may wish to say, Archangel Hanael, guide me tonight for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing as I surrender to the divine for my highest good. Feel her loving presence as Hanael smiles down at you and gestures for you to take her hand. And I always leading you through the river to the beautiful, white, cleansing waterfall. You are mesmerized as you notice violet orbs flowing through the water. You can hear the water gently flowing. Imagine, feel, see or know an incredible sparkling violet light as you get closer to the waterfall. Archangel Hanael leads you right through this purifying waterfall and into a cave. You are now entering the temple of purification. The first thing you notice is the mere size of the temple and the angels surrounding the walls of the temple, all glowing in a soft, white, and violent aura. 
Your attention is drawn to the center of the cave, to a glowing light. The center is glowing in silver and surrounded by purple, giving the impression of a flame, creating St. Germain's violet flame of light, the flame of transmutation and alchemy. This is the flame of transformation to transmute and heal your energy, your body, your mind, your emotions, illuminating pain, shadows, unhealthy attachments, cleansing, clearing your physical, emotional, and mental body. It will also remove and clear energies that you are ready and willing to release. This is the transmuting energy of God. Now imagine, see, know, or feel as a violet orb is coming towards you. This is the orb of Archangel Zagtail the angel of forgiveness, mercy, and tolerance. The orb stops in front of you. Visualize, see, feel, or just know you are now gazing upon the sheer magnificence of this beautiful being of light. His purple powder blue aura surrounds him and expands far past the cave, far past the cavern. Archangel Zadkiel is standing in front of you now and greets you with divine love and light. You are feeling completely relaxed, completely safe, And with the mere gesture of his hand, Zadkiel invites you to bathe in the light of the sacred violet flame. You step forward and you feel and sense the angels surrounding you, ensuring your divine protection during this clearing as you step into the violet flaming light of transformation. And it begins to surround and clear your auric field. Sit a few moments in this powerful energy, allowing it to pour over your entire body to transmute your energy, your body, your mind, and your emotions. clearing all your chakras, reaching deeply into your body, cleansing, clearing all negative energy, transmuting. Pouring over you and reaching deeply into your mind your emotions. Let this flame of transmutation begin to burn away all negative thoughts. Allow this to happen as it begins to burn away all of the thoughts, feelings, and beliefs preventing thoughts that tell you you aren't good enough that say there is something wrong with you. Allow the sacred flame to burn away all these imperfect thoughts. All the thoughts that might have blocked or prevented you from living your best life. Thoughts of unforgiveness of yourself and others. Thoughts of the fear of opening your heart. 
We are asking the violet flame to erase all memories of hurt and pain. Release and allow all thoughts and feelings that you're alone, that you aren't worthy, that you aren't loved. All thought forms that have blocked the light of God, that have prevented you from reaching your true spiritual being. Let the violet flame purify your mind. The sacred violet flame is now moving through your emotional body, removing all doubts, all fear, all addictions, all negative desires. May the flame burn all this away. The violet flame is burning away all anger, or fear that is no longer serving you. All depression, all tears, all sorrow. Transmuting and releasing you from all conflicting thoughts, beliefs, or confusion so that you may gain clarity of mind giving you peace peace of mind the peace of God to enhance your clearing you may wish to repeat I am a being of the violet fire I am the purity that God desires. Bask in the violet illuminating light as it moves down your body, clearing and cleansing. Acknowledge the sensations and or visions you receive and let them float away as the violet flame cleanses and clears helping you to remove any energy blocks that may be keeping you from awakening fully. All negative energies and thoughts are being lifted from you now. They are being burned in the flame, cleared and transformed into positive energies of love. You may wish to say, Archangel Zadkiel, thank you for this clearing. In the name of the Christ light within me, I ask this violet flame be multiplied and used to assist all souls on this planet who are in need. I thank you and accept it done according to the will of God. Archangel Zadkiel nods and smiles lovingly, signaling the end of your cleansing. The violet flame moves gently upward and returns to the center of the cave. As the violet flame begins to fade from your body, you are now surrounded by a silver and white light of purity. This light is guiding you back. Follow it in your mind as it guides you back to where you started. You're coming back now, safely in the light, slowly coming back into your body, back to your room, feeling refreshed, feeling clear and renewed. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, 
and open your eyes when you feel ready. Then stand up, run your hands down your body to close your aura, and go on about your night or day, knowing that you have started a new part of your journey today. We give thanks to God. We also give thanks to Archangel Hanael, Archangel Michael, Archangel Zadkiel, and all the angels for this wonderful healing experience. And so it is. And we're over halfway through our show. So first, let me give you a few announcements. Our lines are open at 1-516-453-9162. Press 1 to get in the queue if you have a question or you want to share something from the visualization or want an angel card pulled for angel guidance. A little about our shows this week. Tomorrow, Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, February 20th, is Angel Talk with Sue with Sue Broom, and she will have topic and mini readings. Then Thursday, February 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern, the Alex Levy Show with our new host, Alex Levy, and his guest is Felicia Bender. This is going to be the practical numerologist plus mini readings. And then Saturday, 2 p.m. Eastern and 7 p.m. UK, February 23rd, is Angelic Light. And it is a podcast with Susie Parrott, How Working with the Angels Can Help You in Your Everyday Life. Sunday, February 24th at 7 p.m. Eastern, Mystical Connections with our founder, Claudia Ibarra, and returning guest, Bridget Parvin. Then Monday, February 25th at 9 p.m. Eastern, Divine Guidance with Shishi O'Donnell. And join me back here next Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, February 26th, What's Most Important Right Now, with my guest, Susie Beeler. And this is going to have questions on topic and then angel guidance mini readings. And don't forget to visit our website at www.internationalangelsnetwork.com. There's so much information there. You can find out what our hosts are up to. You can sign up to be guests under the guest tab. Uh, Look at our membership program under the membership tab. Uh, Plus, we have our blog on esoteric communication for 2019. Uh, Sue Broom has her course on there that you can look at. I believe it's Channel Writing with Mom. And then, of course, the um, the course that Susie and I am do, are doing, uh, Connecting with the Angels. And then Alex Levy has some new Oracle cards, so you might want to check those out too. And all that you can find at www.internationalangelsnetwork.com. And if you want to know more about my services, you can visit dianemorgan.com. I offer many services um, in person or by phone and Skype. So now let's take a few calls. Again, our number is 1-516-453-9162. Press 1 to get in the queue. Or ask a question in the chat room on Blog Talk or YouTube. Okay, we have Donna from California. Hello, Donna. How are you this evening? Fine, thank you. Thank you. What a lovely meditation. I'm going to go back and listen to that again because it brought me such peace. It was lovely. Oh, thank you. I I choked up in some of it. (laughs) I don't know if I could tell or not. It was very emotional for me. Uh, Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. you. Yeah. Yeah. I have been getting whispers. um, Like one meditation, I meditate in the morning. It came in. It just filled me up with love and said, it's coming soon. And then uh, I was in a group, and I, we had to close our eyes, and I heard it again. It's coming soon. So I guess I'm to expect something's coming. <laughs> uh, do you have children? No, no kids. Never got married. Um, I don't know why, but I was in relationships. My mother had eight kids, and I was always taking care of them, so I never really had that big desire. Uh, I understand. <laughs> okay, let's pull. Which card for you? All right. I'm going to work with the Archangel Oracles for you. And let's see. 
because for some reason it's like a new beginning is what I'm feeling. Ah, okay. Uh, now, I don't know what you've got in the works, but I'm hearing to uh, don't stop, continue, that you're maybe wanting to take a break from something, but your work is paying off, and it, it, I just keep hearing new beginnings. So that coincides with it's coming. Let's yeah. See what Archangel... You know, I would say um, Archangel Azrael, A-Z-R-A-E-L. He is the angel of new beginnings and endings. Um, That would be my first thought. Uh, Also, I'm getting that Archangel Raziel would like to work with you. Mm. And he helps with uh, uh, your clairvoyance. Yeah, I'm very clear audience. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So I drew Archangel Shemuel for you. And you know, Archangel Shemuel is the finding angel to help you find what you're looking for. Oh, good. Shemuel says he is working with you. And I think all that ties in with what you're hearing. It's coming. Um, yeah, because like I said, I'm hearing new beginnings. So whatever you have been working on is uh-huh. going to pay off. Praying for, it's going, yeah, and praying for is going to pay off. You know, a lot of times there's a lot of work behind the scenes that the angels have to do to get everything lined up. So it's for the highest good of everyone. But it's coming, <laughs> so uh, <laughs> you might want you might want to uh, start. Talking to Archangel Azrael as well, as I said, he is the angel of new beginnings and uh, endings, and then Shamuel to help you find what you're looking for. Shamuel. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to read more about these angels. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you for that meditation. It was just beautiful. Loved it. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for calling, Donna. Have a good evening. Hey, you too. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Okay, we have Tim from New York. Hey, Tim, are you with Thanks us? Thanks for taking my call. Yes, I am with you. Thanks for taking my call. Yeah, oh, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. How can we help you this evening? So I've been trying to work with Archangel Gabrielle and Mother Mary, trying to do some inner child work with Mother Mary and Gabrielle, just talking to midnight before I do my little meditations. I'm just trying to change things, bring some mm-hmm. new things career-wise, uh, financial abundance-wise, and direction. Uh, any information about any Archangels I can work with or any uh, tips, messages? Okay, I'm going... I'm feeling for you, I have the new Diana Cooper Archangel Animal Cards. And those are sticking out in front of me here. So we're going to pull one of those for you. Okay. You'll be quite surprised. (laughs) Okay. And don't... Sometimes when you first hear the name of something, you're like, okay... But the card that we drew is the rat. But the rat has a message from Archangel Gabriel and Archangel Zadkiel that says, be true to yourself and the universe will reward you. And what this card is telling you is reminding you that when you're acting with the best and noblest intentions, you may still be misunderstood And in extreme cases, you may even be persecuted, verbalized. Uh, It feels like like you've gone through some rough times in the past. But what they're wanting to remind you is to follow your heart, follow your dreams, uh, be true to who you are, stand in your own integrity, and... Things are moving forward is what I'm hearing. Things are moving forward. So I don't know what it is that you've got going on, what it is that you're wanting to do. Um, Gabriel keeps saying, follow your heart. Okay. So are you pursuing something that is your passion? Uh, I'm trying to figure out what that is and how I can monetize it to uh, move out of my uninspired nine-to-five 
So uh, I'm still trying to figure it out, but that's uh, it's encouraging, though, because that's well, and that's why uh, working with Gabriel because cre- Gabriel helps us with creativity. And what I keep hearing is, what is it in your heart that you truly love? And the card that I drew, I went ahead and drew an uh, angel answer answer card for timing, and they're saying within the next few months. So that tells okay. me that you are going to figure something out within the next few months that you love doing, whether it be, you know, something creative is what I'm feeling. Uh, singing, writing songs, playing music, painting, doing pottery, um, jazzercise, you know, anything that that makes you feel good is what I'm hearing. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Tam. Have a good evening. Sure, have a great evening. Thanks. Okay, we have a YouTube live from Alex Levy. Hi, Alex. Thank you for joining us. Uh, Then we have Sherry Marilyn. Uh, The meditation was wonderful. You're very welcome. And she would like to hear what the angels want her to know at this time. Immediately, I feel Archangel Michael stepping in. I'm going, whoo, because it's getting really hot in here. Let's see. Oh, Sherry, I don't know if you do energy healing work, but we got the energy healer healing uh, work card for you. And this card represents that either it's time for you to get some energy healing work done or that it's time for you to look in pursuing energy healing work. And I don't know why I'm feeling animals with that. Uh, you know, there are um, animal intuitives. There are uh, animal Reiki practitioners. And so that's where that's going from what I'm feeling for you. All right. Then we have Allison from Texas on the line. Allison, are you with us? Hello. Hi. How can we help you this evening, sweetheart? Hi. Well, I just want to say I really like the meditation. Um, <laughs> oh, thank and, you. Yeah. And secondly, um, I was just curious if the angels had anything they'd really like me to know at the moment. Okay. I'm getting open your heart, um, but what I'm feeling is that it's opening your heart, loving yourself, that you've been doing a lot of self-work, which, which I've, I kind of know that you have, um, but what I'm feeling is that you need to start loving yourself more, have a, have a relationship with yourself, if that makes sense. Any clarity for you on that? You know, uh, it feels like you have been doing a lot of deep inner work, and you're almost there. That's what they're saying. You're almost there, uh, but it's time to do more for yourself. Love yourself more. Appreciate yourself more. Allison, are you there? Allison, are you there? I'm just, I am soaking it in. (laughs) Okay. And then the card we got for you was, I'm using the new uh, Archangel Animal cards. We've got sheep. And this is all about acting with fortitude and cooperation. And this is Archangel Gabriel and Archangel uh, Hope that come with this card. And bear with me here because these are new cards for me. When I see sheep, it's all about, for me, uh, is to cooperate with others, to realize that together you can accomplish greater things uh, than if you work alone. And your aspiration can more easily be fulfilled. So what I'm getting is your soul tribe. You're looking for your soul tribe. Yeah. So something within that group of people is what I'm feeling, honey. 
I hope that helps. <laughs> it does. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for calling, hon. Have a good evening. You too. Okay, we have Neelam from California. And Miss Neelam was a guest on our show. Hi, Neelam. Hello. How are you? I am great. And it was such a beautiful meditation. It was so emotional. Even with my kids running in the house, I just stopped everything. I said, I'm just soaking this in. And I could see and visualize being an angel with myself. But it's such a it was so beautiful. I was with you, like I was right there with every words, every you know Aww. expression. Aww, it's beautiful. like oh, I needed this. <laughs> it is so Aww, easy wonderful. to give and not to be in the receiving end. And I said, "Oh my God!" Just in the nick of time, I was able to hear. It was perfect. I walk with dark Aww. angels all the time, but I think they really wanted me to just stop being a mommy yeah. for five minutes and just soak <laughs> this in. Right. Just so stop and take some time me. for yourself. Yeah. Oh, yes. thank you, Thank Nilo. you so much. Giving you a big angel hug. And thank you. I so much appreciate what you're doing for everybody. I want to tell all the audience and listeners that this is such a gift and, you know, to share this gift with the world. And it just, <sighs> I just... I'm speechless to say I said, oh, Aww. if Aww. only we can hug and you know get all this beautiful loving energy from you. It's like, it's like I, every I feel word your energy. Was, I feel your yeah, energy. Yeah, every well, word was you. like it was so. It's like it's like the God's words were coming, the wisdoms were coming through you, and I loved it. That's what I say. I Aww. love you for that. I love you. <laughs> Thank you for bringing those, you know, divine messages for us to just, you know, Aww. release and just embrace the violet flame energy. It was just... <sighs> it just <laughs> <laughs> You're going to make me tear up here. <laughs> oh, was, okay, uh, yeah, sweetheart. I, <laughs> thank you so thank much you, thank you so much and it's a valentine's month so we can still share the love <laughs> <laughs> yes 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 yeah. thank um, you sweetheart I don't have any, yeah i don't have any questions but um i'm just bridging the gap between business and spirituality as you know already um mm-hmm. any messages anything anything to help me help people who are um, new to this, and I'm bringing this awareness that we don't have to be alone, regardless of whatever our callings are, and we can connect with our beautiful angels and guides mm-hmm. and um, lead from a place of service, just like you're doing. How I can bring this in a way it's powerful and still um, soothing to my audience, and I'm teaching a class this Friday, trying to introduce this message to the business-minded people. How can I, yeah. you know, do this? Beautiful. So you hear you're all invited. Neelam, thank you so much for calling. I'm going to move down the list now. I have a few more minutes left in the show. But thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you calling. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Love to you. Love you. Bye. Okay, we have uh, Patricia from Ohio. Patricia, are you with us? Yes, I am. Thank you for How taking you, my sweetheart? call. You're very welcome. Um, How can we help you? Quite concerned. I have questions about... I have... I've, whew, I'm going to condense this as much as I can. I believe I'm dealing with unconscious, subconscious abundance blocks all my life. Uh, have struggled and all that. Now I'm coming back up to the present time. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm in Cleveland, Ohio, um, and it's not been the most healthy or uh, supportive here. There's a lot of going through a lot of changes, past life karma, so on and so forth. Uh, I've had the most difficult time since I've returned back here, and I've been here seven years of just uh, having, obtaining a good job, bringing forth uh, monies. Uh, I'm just, strugg- just struggling. Uh, I'm ready to, and I've just gone through so much 
<sighs> abuse and the past life, present life karmic uh, stuff. And yes, obviously some growth in there, but just a lot of abuse and bullying, harassment, and so on and so forth. And I'm, um, I said I was going to relocate and I to uh, the Pacific Northwest this summer. I've been applying to jobs all through the time. I've had, you know, a few of these sporadic jobs, I'll call it, food, mm-hmm. hospitality. But anyway, nothing was, just was not ever really, you know, supportive. Uh, I have not gotten anything. I've been applying and applying. Uh, but, uh, I would like to get clarity on if I'm dealing with these abundance blocks, how do I resolve it and that am I being guided by the creator and angels to relocate to the Pacific Northwest in spring 2019. Uh, I started applying for jobs, haven't heard anything, but I just started applying, you know, letting the universe know that I am ready and serious. Uh, and I mean, this work that I've been doing now is through Minutemen, which is like a day labor type of agency, paying minimum wage. Uh, and I'm usually standing on my feet, and it's it's just really, you know, difficult and stressful because it can get painful. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I just, uh, I'm just really just, you know, fed up. Uh, and yes, I've come out of a lot of this. The darkness of the soul, I believe, and uh, but yeah, if it's time for me to just get the hell out of here, I'm for that. But uh, yeah, and I'd like to know uh, why do I seem to be experiencing these blocks with abundance, money, and right relationships, and so on. Thank you. Okay, Patricia, the card that I pull for you is it's not the right time. So what this tells me is that, hello, Patricia? Oh, goodness. Okay, I guess we lost the caller. All right, let me pull a card really fast for everyone. If I didn't get to you, I do apologize. Uh, tune in to Sue Broom tomorrow night. She'll be doing readings. Then Alex Levy on Thursday night. Levy on Thursday night. And he'll be doing readings. And the card that we have pulled for everyone is from the Whispers of Healing deck. And it is Modify. And Modify is all about Work on releasing your... Oh, what a perfect card for tonight. Work on releasing your fears and learn to affirm the good in the situation. I'm sad to say we're all out of time tonight. Remember, you can invite Zadkiel and the Sacred Valley Flame into your meditations and your prayers. Thank you again for being here and join me back here next week. Until then, I'm sending you so much love and light. Have a great week, good night, and God bless.